let's go! Okey dokey. Good evening, Doctor here with the infamous gentleman, and this is the first episode of Mario Let's Play Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Um if you've never come across the game before, it is it's amazing. Well, you'll see very soon. I'm gonna generally stay quiet during the cutscenes like this, so the goodwill ambassador from the Bean Bean Kingdom had arrived. Looking not at all bizarre. Or alien. I wish to improve my kingdom's ties with the mushroom king. I bring a gift from Green Bean. I have no idea what this voice is, by the way. I'm just making this up as I go along. Oh, the gift was gas! How rude. Who does that to someone? Oh, and she's a witch! Lightning witch! And he's an imp! Oh, everything's gone to shit quickly. And an imp with steampunk headdress gear thing. And Peach is unconscious. That that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of a fan fast. And then they're flying to their massive airship. Oh my god. I said I'd stay quiet in the cutscene. Apparently I lied. But yeah, so if you've never played one of these games before, the uh, Mario and Luigi ones, they're brilliant. They are utterly unlike any other game. They're like the, well, they're like the Paper Mario ones and stuff, but they're kind of... They're, ooh, I'm playing Tis Toad. <laughs> I forgot about this. Um... But yeah, they're kind of half RPG style. Well, it's just RPG, like turn based stuff, but also you. Eek! Um, <laughs> sorry, the game's just amusing me. Um, yeah, the fact that you actually have to. Well, you'll see why when it comes to battles. You actually have to do things in the battle, like press buttons at the right time, stuff like that. It means it's kind of not just a turn based thing. And it's just, it's a brilliant game, but there's not really much other stuff like it in Nintendo World, and it's a very underrated game. Bowser and the Mario series. Oh, it's Bowser and Peaches and Tears. Things have definitely gone wrong very, very quickly here. <laughs> oh, Luigi, when will you learn? Attacking me when my back is turned her. Well, that's typical. Come here, super coward bros. Bros. I'm never sure how to pronounce that word, whether it should be bros or bros. Both sound wrong to me. Yes, yeah, so and not only did you choose the attack, but also it's like oh no, missed that. Okay, I was too busy talking. Did you already forget about? Um, let's see. No, I didn't forget. Basically, what it means is just at the moment I hit him, I have to press A in order to do extra damage. If I don't press A, that happens. But oh, hold on. I can also dodge his attacks like that apparently, but apparently I suck, so I can't. But if I do press A at the right time, it does double damage. Hooray! I know how to dodge his attacks, I just don't want to. Apparently. I always suck when I'm on camera though. There we go. Oh, I'm good at this. Whee! We're learning fast. And apparently Bowser only has six has eight hit points. Blarg. <laughs> or not. Something terrible has happened. There's no friendly visit. The ambassador stole Princess Peach's voice. Can you do that? Is that a thing? Apparently it is. Oh god! She speaks in bombs now. That's a thing as well. Well, symbol bombs. It's like wingdings, but explosive. Stop talking. No one's listening. No one can even begin to listen. I can that Princess Peach in this state. She'll wreck my castle. Mario, do something super! Why does he sound like that? Who knows? Mario, please, go and retrieve Princess Peach's beautiful voice. Only you can do it for some reason. The perpetrator came from the Bean Bean Kingdom. If you head over there, you should be able to learn more. <laughs> yes, go capture that fiend, Princess Peach's voice, then I can kidnap her. Oh, he's turned into Sean Connery now, apparently. Oh, so not good. How do words explode, anyway? I don't want to know. Witchcraft, that's how. Off on an adventure yet again. I just hope your long vacation hasn't left you out of shape. You can stretch out and warm up here in this plaza. Oh, and talk to everyone around here. Who knows what you might learn? Very little, almost certainly, but... I'll do it anyway, because there's some important items to gather. Mushroom. Heals damage. During battles. Very useful. Something precious! We never find out what it is, but this man is looking for it. Man slash toad. You are the best. Please take this in return. A one-up mushroom. 
revives you after you die, as you can imagine. If you, if you die in battle. Um, I think there's another item of some sort over here. Oh, there's two. Brilliant. I will have that. Another mushroom. And another mushroom. Oh, no, that's his mushroom. Yes, I got it for you. Thank you so much, yes, but say, you're going to be mean to keep it soon, huh? You better keep it, then. And please take this as a going away, a gift. I insist. A super mushroom. How exciting. So you bother to get him his mushroom back, and he gives it to you. Ah, a Koopa Trooper. Hello. I've been separated from the Bowser Baddies. Do you know where Lord Bowser has gone? Yes. Did he go this way, that way, or that way? I think he went that way. He did, actually. You can lie to him, and then he just doesn't like you later, but then, if you tell him the right direction, he rewards you later. Hello, Luigi. You strange thing. Oh my god, he's following me. Oh, no, he's not. Oh my god, he is. Oh, god. oh. It's like a boo. He only follows you when you turn around to not look at him. It's Toadsworth! Riding a suitcase. Don't appear, I'm just in time. I have repaired a suitcase for you to take with you on your long journey. I'm quite sure it will prove you as well as it holds many items and outfits. Please take it. Also known as my start menu. Well, it's actually a select menu, but it functions as the same thing. Just press select to open your suitcase and check the menu screen. Then you can use any items you have found on your journey, or even change your clothes. Except not really. Well, you can change your clothes, but they all look the same on the overworld. What is it? A hundred coins! I'm filthy rich. Hooray! Good gracious, Master Luigi, are you going to the Bean Bean Kingdom as well? I don't know what that sounds supposed to be. Hooray. Oh, the Koopa Cruiser. The brilliant thing. It's Bowser's pimp mobile. And it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love everything about this game, though. It's a superb game. Everyone should play it. If you're watching this and you haven't played it, play it. Never mind watching me play it. I would actually be okay with you stopping watching this to go and play it yourself. You're late. What were you doing? We're leaving right now, so get on board and make it snappy. <laughs> He's fully turned into Sean Connery now, but I'm okay with that. Apparently I can't do many voices. So what do you think? Incredible, isn't it? This is my newest weapon, the Koopa Cruiser. Yes, very good. Now all I need are my baddies. Bowser baddies! Bye bye. Eh, how embarrassing for you. Rawr. Oh, Luigi. Always in the wrong place at the wrong time. But I, I, I still love you, Luigi. It's okay. It's okay. Mostly because as a younger brother, I was always the player too. I was always the Luigi of every game. But I was okay with that. And I've, I've grown to love him more than Mario. At least in this game, he has more personality. You'll see. Another Koopa! Green ones and red ones and Goombas. <laughs> All baddies have begun. We shall now begin boarding the Koopa Cruiser. Luigi sneaks away unsubtly. We can depart and begin increased hat count too. Excellent. Your filthiness boarding is now complete, except for one deserter. Hurrah! Move it to idiots. Initiate cruiser pursuit. Chasing down Luigi, who is apparently deserted. <laughs> Look at him run. Like all good supervillain vehicles, it has a hand on a stick that comes out. It's like something Team Rocket had built. It's brilliant. The sky is above the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and Luigi looking bored and being talked to by a robot. I think so. Wow, that's a voice. I'm not going to do a voice fight because I don't know who it's supposed to be, or what it's supposed to be. Press select to open your suitcase and arrange your stuff, then get ready to roll. Then report to the deck, pronto! I'm not actually going to press select and check my suitcase, because... Well, you'll see later. What the suitcase does. These people just give you various tutorials. So now I can move around and stuff. I've got both Mario and Luigi's control, which is useful for things like this. A bross block. Behold. Bounce it between the two of you, earning coins. Exciting stuff, I know. I can barely contain myself with it. Hey there, you do! Yeah, you two mustache dudes. We're about to enter the Bean Bee Kingdom with you, so you have your passports with you, right? Apparently, I can't talk. There. Mm. 
Well, it looks like you've got a suitcase there. Tell you what, go ahead and press select to open your suitcase, okay? Why, you've got them right here. These are your passports. Oh dear. Turns out you're an illegal immigrant. No, there aren't any photos. How is it a passport then? I never understood that. Somehow, it becomes... Oh, no. How do you get a passport that doesn't have a photo? That just... That's just a name card. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Hooray! Now let's have some pictures taken. We kind of fuck around here, so that's mildly entertaining. Let's do Mario's first. If I press up and hold a button here while he's trying to take the picture, then basically I pull a silly pose and then it's on my phone for life. And it's hilarious. I'll go for that one. Say Jeep Jeep. Hooray. I'm hilarious. And I will do the same thing with Luigi. Oh shit, no, start. Yeah, you must start to switch the position off the brothers. That's kind of naughty. Oh. Oh no. I'm gonna do some goopy feathers. I don't care what you say. Hey! Say jeep jeep. Yeah. Happy all around. Now if I open it up. Oh, we're both pulling silly faces. How amusing. More mushrooms? You can never have too many mushrooms. As demonstrated here. And who are you exactly? Oh, Mario, it's me, that lost guy. Mario doesn't look cool. Thanks for telling me which way to go back in the Mushroom Kingdom. I was kind of panicking. But thanks to you, I was the first one to board the Koopa Cruiser. Here, let me give you this. Thank you very much, Random Koopa. Much appreciated. It is nice to be nice, you're right. What a good philosophy. I love how I'm suddenly on the side with Bowser and everyone so quickly. Oh dear. Oh, I should have kicked a barrel. You can't just go around breaking stuff. Yeah, I knew he said something like that. Much close. As ever, Mario and Luigi don't talk, but they kind of do in this. They just make... Italian noises. <laughs> no thanks. Yeah, 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 I know what I'm doing. You'll see shortly, anyway, how I fight the pair. Break the barrel? Yes, break the barrel. <gasps> A Goomba! Da -da 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 I said I didn't want to learn how to fight Zapair, what's wrong with you? Fine, you can show me how to dodge if you must. So it's basically exactly the same as dodging Bowser, except this time I can press A or B, and if you watch... Oh no, I didn't do that because the time was... Um, timing was wrong, but if I... Here, it shows me. If you do it at the right time... Oh, you can counter-attack! But of course that doesn't work if they don't physically move under you. Or if they're spiky or something like that, obviously you can't. And for now, the only weapon I have is jumping. Like, you get more as you go on. You get another two, actually. Um, but that's for later episodes. For now, I will just kill these Goombas. With my jump. So using Luigi is the same as using Mario, whereby you have to press B at the moment of impact to do double damage. And it just becomes habit quite quickly. You suck at chasing Goombas. Ah, you fool. Half harf, hoof harf. We'll help you, apparently. Through no volunteering of our own. You'll teach me something important about going into battle. Now you can catch these guys, but first you have to stomp them and start a battle. Hooray! Ha! If you stomp on a monster as you enter battle, it'll start the battle by taking damage. Youch! Well, isn't that super cool? Anyway, the rest is up to you. Oops, I forgot something. If you fail to stomp on a monster, it hits the dude in back when you enter battle, and that guy can't move until it his turn comes. Watch out! I'll show you that later. Um, but yeah, so it just means that you do extra damage at the start, which makes battles a lot quicker. As in, as if you start by jumping on them, as opposed to just walking into them. And Mario has leveled up! Um, various stats here. HP is obvious, Bross points are for using Bross moves, which we'll see later. Power, obvious defense, obvious speed, obvious stash, not obvious. The size of Mario's mustache, which for some reason contributes to his ability to get uh, its luck and the amount of you get off while shopping are uh, proportional to the size or quality, I don't know which one it is actually measuring, of his mustache. 
which is kind of interesting. Um, right, so I'll fuck this one up. Oh! He hit Luigi. What a shame. Now Luigi can't move. But now he can move. So it's not good. It only, it's only really a problem if the enemy's faster than you, because then they might hit you and you won't get a chance to dodge or counter attack. They'll just hit you in the face, but this early on, especially against Goombas, it doesn't really matter. This whole level is basically just a big tutorial, in case you haven't noticed. And now Luigi is leveled up. So I'm going to go to the opposite approach to you with Mario. Next with Mario, I went for power. With you, I'm going to go to do defense. You get to give a little bonus to each one every time you level up. And the more bonuses you give to a certain stat, the less good the bonuses are. So you can't just focus entirely on one. After a while, then you'll only start getting ones and twos rather than four or fives for the bonus. Hooray, let's go. Up to the deck. That's just a save point. Let's hit the mystery switch. Get time to switch in a crane. Get the cargo, thank you. Get out of my way. Oh no, that's not cargo, that's Luigi. I did not see that coming. Looks like the crane just took you for cargo. That looks uncomfortable. A. Hey, that's slightly rude. Since you're up there, why don't we use you as a lookout? Meanwhile. <laughs> Your rancidness. You will soon pass over the border between the Mobius Mushroom and Bean Bean Kingdoms. Nice work. You can go back below decks now. And Luigi's eyes are exploding. Hey, eh? what's with all the hoopla? Oh god, we're under attack. Or are we? Something happened. What was it? It was her! <laughs> I would have thought you'd catch up to the calculator in even a hundred million years. Oh, okay, apparently I can't do that voice. Oh, fuck. That really hurt my throat. Okay, I'm not doing a voice for calculator then. I was aiming for a kind of grunty from Banjo Kazooie kind of for the voice, but apparently my throat doesn't go that far. Fawful, take care of this. Oh, Fawful. Fawful is one of my favourite villain sidekicks in anything ever entirely because of the way he talks. Which you will see soon. I am the great calculator's most best pupil, who is named Fawful. I am here, laughing at you. If you are giving us the chase, just yet to get your silly princess's voice, then you are idiots of foolishness. Princess Peach's sweet voice will soon be the bread that makes the sandwich of calculator's desires. And this battle shall be the most delicious mustard on that bread. The mustard of your doom! Oh, I just... <laughs> Everything about Fawful. I kind of regret that I have to battle him here, just because I love him so much. Oh god, he's behind me! Let's do this shit. Next it is the turn of you! You can take up Bowser in one hit, but has to fight us manually. Like every other enemy, for now, we defeat him by jumping. Exciting stuff. Think Rat! Note he said it in red! Ooh, I wonder what that means. Most enemies will give you a hint as to whether they're attacking Mario and Luigi. His is nice and obvious, as in bright green and bright red text. And the top of his headgear does a different twirly thing. Wanna dodge this not attacks? No. I already know how. So that's Mario again. Hooray. Then later on he does a he does a slightly more complex attack where he attacks one first and then the other. That's about it. Technically this is a mini boss, but it's pretty straightforward as you can see. Have you readiness for this? So that means he's attacking both but Luigi first. His headgear will fall off once I've done enough damage to him. Oof, like so. Now is when I ram you! Now this means you can at least counter-attack him and do slightly more damage to him. Get away. That's gotta be him nearly dead. Die. Die! Oh my god. And again. Die! Stay down, motherfucker. How could Finkrat like you be such an awful nasty as me? Headgear! Suction headgear. And oh, I have fury! And away! Oh, not quite. He's got really big teeth. Now it's the time when the talking stops. I don't have the so time to stop and smell such foul roses as you. One fell swoop is the day I way I will deal with you, Finkrats! Finkrats is a brilliant insult and should be used a lot more. Technically, that was three full fell swoops, I would say. Not just the one, but... What do you know? Anyway, the Cooper Cruise is sinking in any other news. Well, can you sink if you're in the air? Crashing, that's the word I meant. 
I knew I knew the words that I was looking for. General Starshade, a massive explosion has been sighted. Confirmation. I need confirmation. Meteorite confirmed. Oh, apparently, oh fuck. Apparently I'm Scottish now. Okay, so the Starshade brothers, when we meet them next episode, will be Scottish. Emergency. Emergency. We are in a place with possibly the funkiest music in the game. Wow. And coming from this game, that means a lot, because this game has extraordinarily funky music. <laughs> oh, I love Nintendo humour. It's little things like that. You don't need words, you just need amusing gestures. Hooray! So now we are in Stardust Fields. And that's it for this episode. Because I'm going to try and do this not in... Well, I was aiming for both 20 minute chunks and something significant happening each episode. And we managed that. So I'm quite pleased with that. So, we'll call it a day at that. I will save here. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been the Doctor with the Infamous Gentleman. And I shall see you next time on uh, Let's Play Super Mario... No, not even Super Mario. Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Thank you very much.